What is going on everyone? It is your boy Scooter Red coming at you with a brand new video today. 10,000 likes and I won't do it. <laughs> If you guys don't like scooters, you're gonna love this video. Leave a like if you don't like scooters, please. We're going through the top five worst scooters in the world for the second time. We've done number one. If you wanna watch it, watch it here. The top five worst scooters you can possibly get. Without further ado, let's get into the countdown. Coming in at number five, we have the Nice Wheels. Yeah, that's right. It's called Nice Wheels Scooter. This is a two wheeled inflatable thing with one-sided fork which is really weird there's literally only one side of the fork uh steel frame and this weird guy with glasses who shreds the shit out of the scooter it's got a huge fender brake the deck comes in at probably like 12 inches wide and then goes down to about six and then goes back out to 12 for some odd reason i'll pull a leaf in pa -pa 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 -pa. play the <laughs> video <laughs> Hey guys, this is Peter from Nice Wheels. I got with me a really cool scooter today. He had me it. It's Peter from Nice Wheels. And uh, this one we designed especially as a tough city commuter. You'll notice it's got a taller handlebar, which is perfect for guys like me, 6'2". I whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? What did... What? What the hell is that? Me, 6'2". I feel really nice on this scooter. Don't have to lean over. Over. Now this high tensile steel frame can actually support riders up to 300 pounds. So this is a scooter that you can really abuse and you don't have to worry about. You should be able to ride this thing for years without even messing with it. Look at the flick of there is. Look at the flick of there is. Look at the flick of there is. And now I'll show you how it folds. It's just got a sleeve design here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Does anyone else think that that looks oh, kind of inappropriate? <laughs> Just pull that up. And then you can strap it on the back. Put it right up on your shoulder to ride. The way he puts it up on his shoulder, though, is probably the most badass thing I've ever seen in my life. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> so that's very easy, very quick. And I guess you saw earlier. Just snaps out like that. So you can't find a faster, easier kick scooter to work with than this one. Except for maybe like every other kick scooter that doesn't fall down. Thanks for watching our video on the kick pen. If you're looking for a totally indestructible scooter for New York City, or any city, check us out online. Please. Or stop in the shop for a test ride. Maybe I'll see you there. You probably won't, to be honest. Ah. Coming in at number four, we have the Micro MX Trix scooter. Look at this thing, it's so colorful, dude. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna have to have a seizure from all this co- Oh my god! Look at these forks, the deck, the- everything. <laughs> Bringing back speed holes from 2008. Look at this thing though. Look at all these holes. Oh my gosh. Anyway, let's check out the promo video for this. Whoa, 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 whoa hold on. Isn't that the wrong scooter? Bruh. Benji Fryan here. I'm here to show you the new micro product called the MX Trix. Now, with all due respect to Benjamin Fryan, why would you endorse this product? I'm done. I can't. I can't do it anymore. It's really, really strong, concave, the nice grip tape on it. There are holes in it, so it's lighter than without the holes. It's super strong, and you have a nice brake. It doesn't make any sound, pretty strong. Again, they're using the wrong scooter for this. What is this? This is the MX-180, dude. Come on. And you have, of course, two meter course. Really fast and really strong. You would love it. You would love it. <laughs> Coming in at number three, we have the JD Bug scooter. Now, I couldn't actually find any real life videos of this. I wonder why, because this is not a product that anyone would want to consume. Look at this. Look at the head tube, dude. Why? What, do you want a snug fit for your foot for doing hang fives? Is that the only reason why the head tube looks like this? At least I got a triple clamp. I mean, the graphics are pretty sick. What, wait, what, no, what, what am I saying? Oh my god, this head tube. Oh my god. Anyway, prepare yourself for this really overdramatic promotional video.
Hold on, look at this clip. Look at that. He did not land this. Somebody tell me that he landed this. Hell no. Oh my god. Where did this come from? This dude looks like he's having way too much fun. Like inappropriate amounts of fun. <laughs> Wow, that was incredible. And coming in at number two, we have the K2 scooter. We'll call it the K2 bent piece of shit. <laughs> Look at this thing. What? What is? What is happening with the with the neck? What is that? Oh my god! If like, if only. And hold on, pay attention to this, right? The forks are forwards in this photo, okay? All right, look at this. The forks are backwards at first, all right, and then we go to the next photo, and the forks are forwards. Why? This is the only video I could find on YouTube of this scooter. Let me blow it up a little for you, so you can actually see what's going on. Hi, I'm Bailey, and this is um, my K2, and I'm just gonna do like a little trip on it. I can do better. We got a ramp and stuff. You know? Notice the fact that he says he can do better, and they do have a ramp. I can do better. This, this is my K2. My K2. I'm currently receiving visual aids watching this video. Plum. K2 clamp. K2 bars. K2 cruiser grip. And I must say, these grips are really nice. The K2 bar ends. These grips are really nice. I strongly recommend this K2. Very strong really strong and I strongly recommend this scooter because it's really good. It's really strong and it's really strong and oh did I mention it's really strong and I actually strongly recommend it. Hey I'm starting. Oh that's good he's he's let us know that he's starting his clip now. Get ready. Look at this camera work. This has got to be the best edit I've ever seen. In my entire life. Oh this oh my god. Did he just do a manual? Oh my god, Bossman! Oh my god! And that was my video. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm Bailey and this is my K2. And coming in at number one. Now this one was a hard one because there are so many just terrible scooters out there, but this is the Fusion. Jump X scooter, and as you guys know, the Fusion company is uh, endorsed by the uh, Bo Bros. Shout out to you guys. The GoFundMe campaign or the Kickstarter for this actually raised twenty-two thousand US dollars with ninety-eight backers. Ninety-eight idiots donated up to twenty-two thousand dollars to create this product. So thank you, thank you so much. Anyway, this Jump X scooter has some sort of spring mechanism in the fork which actually goes up inside the bar and it has a steel rod on the back to make the, I don't know, make you jump higher? I don't know, pay attention, these badasses uh, explain it in the video. Hi, my name is Ryan Myers. And I'm Kevin Clausen. We're here today with the new Fusion Jump X scooter. The scooter is unique in several ways. Inside the bars is a spring that leads down to the fork. You push down the bars when you jump and it gives you higher pop so you can jump over obstacles better. We got the rear leaf spring. It's made out of heat treated steel that uh, absorbs the shock from your jumps and gives you a smooth ride under high speeds. Oh my God, kill me now. Kill me now. I'm not watching this. Oh, you can do it, mate. You can do it. Push through it. Uh, holy shit, did you see that? Heels! Look at all this jumping. It's like a mobile trampoline. One, two, three. One, two. Mossman! Ah! Oh! Look at this thing. It looks like a fucking dolphin. Wraps up the scooter check of the Fusion Jump X. Like us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. We'll be uploading videos constantly with new stuff and groundbreaking tricks. It's been Kevin. It's been Ryan. We out. We out. <laughs> He's wearing an advocate top. Are you seeing this? That's like a street brand. This just in, uh, Fusion Jump X Extreme Scooter is uh, fantastic for quality street riding. I'm gonna give a quick mention to the Bulletproof Scooter as an honorable mention for top five worst scooters, but hey, 
Whoa. Whoa, whoa, hang on. Hey, what, what does that say? Is... MX? What? Whoa, whoa, what is happening? What is happening? Before watching this I advise you to get some tissues because this may make you cry. Funk. Funk music. Disco. Discovery. Discovery Channel. The Discovery Channel logo has four sides. Lions. Lions have four limbs. The Funks have four limbs. Coincidence? I didn't think so. The word Capron rhymes with April. Aprons have pockets. The word pocket rhymes with rocket rockets explosion. The word explosion has nine letters. A scooter has nine parts. Drake has a song called Nine. Drake says he turns the six upside down to become a nine upside down has eleven letters. The name Capron has six letters. The name Cory has five letters. Six plus five is eleven. Capron and Cory did nine eleven so the Funk Brothers are. Illuminati confirmed. Oh my god. The Funk Brothers are the Illuminati? The conspiracy is real. So those are the top five or six worst scooters that you could possibly buy on this entire planet. Please don't forget to add me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and hit up the Facebook group Scoot Review. Every post has to be approved by the admin, which is me, so only the best scootering content gets posted on the page. That is it for today's Scoot Review. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been your boy Scooter Brad, and I will see you guys in the next video. Smoke weed every day. Like my status if you love to film yourself. Uh -huh.